Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Dave here for Southern Land Solo. Just doing a review on my knapsack that I've just started using for the last couple of months. It's the MacPack Light Alp. So what do we got? Well the MacPack Light Alp is actually advertised for like uh, light hiking, for um, a day pack, uh, a city pack, um, a school bag. It's a very very basic design. Um, it's because of the basic design, its robustness, and because of the MacPack name that I've uh, decided on this as my knapsack for the bush. The design of this pack, I think, goes back about 20 or 30 years, I think. Very, very basic design. It's just a two-pouch design, or two-pocket design, and it's been a, a MacPack favorite for the last few decades. The reviews of what I've seen online about this backpack from the customers, um, they're saying they're getting something like 10, 20 years of use out of these things. So it's pretty good. But a bag that's designed for like a day pack or a light hiking, you know, which is like on trails. Um, designed as, as a bag for your school books. Designed as a bag for a round city. How does it perform in the bush? Well, let's see. First, take something off. I carry my poncho roll holder under this, attached to the bottom. What that is, that's a British 58 patent military poncho roll holder. And it's canvas, so I'm going to wax it up. At the moment it's got um, my uh, Outback raincoat in it, my Outback oil skin in it. And usually what I have in there is just a blanket shard, a cut off piece of blanket. And I carry that whenever I'm in the bush. So here's the pack here. So it's a, a 23 liter, although you can also get 22 liter and I believe you can get a 26 liter I think as well. This is the 23. The reason why I went for this one is because of the Aztec fabric. Aztec fabric is a MacPack exclusive fabric. Um, it's a mixture of cotton, polyester, and waterproofing treatments. So you get a cotton canvas, um, I think it's about 1,000 denier, equivalent to 1,000 denier. Um, fabric is the main fabric, but you also get a good waterproofing treatment with it, and the polyester really helps it make it last. It's a very good mixture. The Any of the nylon that is on this pack, I think is about 400, 420, 460 denny or something like that. So MacPack builds them to last. They really are solid. Game with the features. It's got a carry handle up here. Your back straps, just very basic. Ergonomically shaped. Good padding. It's not really thick, but it's dense. So it's very comfortable. And just a buckle system on the bottom of each. Quite a bit of extension, as you can see on that. and secure to the bottom just by a triangular tab on either side. Uh, that doesn't look like Aztec, that looks like nylon. Um, triangular tab on either side. So it actually, just a little design like that, a little bit of fabric, it folds around your body quite nicely, so very, very comfortable. MacPack has been making uh, backpacks for decades. I think they've been on the top of Everest, been on the top of every mountain in New Zealand that's ever been climbed. So it really is good quality, good quality, um, good quality items. What I have here, the, the pack doesn't come with any outside attachments other than a little loop here. And that's made for uh, like a, a cycle light. So when, when this is on your back and you, uh, you're on your 10 speed or your mountain back bike, you can put a little cycle light there so you're seen. But that's the only attachment. But if you use that loop there, and that loop there, you can hook up something to carry an axe or something like that. I'm working on that myself. But no other molly or no other clip-on attachments. So what I've done is, just at the bottom of the straps, I've just got on a Night Eyes carabiner on each one. And then I clip my 58 pattern poncho roll onto that. And it sits really nicely underneath, just hangs below. I'm going to eventually swap these uh, uh, metal carabiners for some a couple of shaft shackles they're going to make and try them out instead. Got the, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it there because I've used black marker on it, 
but it's got a MacPack label there and it says light up underneath. MacPack written across it, but that was like a reflective silver and I just like just like low key in the bush, so I just used a marker on it. And then you have the MacPack symbol which is um, uh, mountains and I think it's a cloud over that or a comet or something. <laughs> I've never figured it out, but that's the MacPack symbol on top. Now this Aztec fabric is very, very waterproof. It's uh, it, it swells up when it gets wet and locks out the locks out the um, any further rain or moisture getting into it. So it holds out really well. So inside carries a ton of stuff in this. Um, not don't usually have this loaded up, but let's bring a bit of extra stuff out in the bush. I just have like a, a thermal layer and an extra shamag. There's plenty of room in there for that. And basically, one large pouch inside. Nothing special in that at all. It's all lined, of course, and you have padding along the back there. So to cushion you from the items that you have, it's a good, thick, dense pad. It's not removable, it's sewn in. But there's nothing else here. It's just a lined, large pocket. Remember, around about 23 liters, so that's a lot of space. And the second pocket is across zip across there. <coughs> the top down to the bottom corner and that has a keychain there where I've got all my uh, ferro rod my car keys and stuff like that just hanging there I'll put them put an s-clip on that and clip everything on and plenty of room in there as well carry my water bottle that's something like about 800 mils carry a first aid kit in there I carry a little bit of a comprehensive first aid kit and got a couple of other items in there as well so plenty of space this whole bag weighs about Empty, it's about 600 grams, I believe it is, so just over half a kilo. When I've got it loaded up, it's about three and a half kilos, plus whatever weight the water is. So three and a half kilos, plus the water weight. Sorry about that. Mouse Drive, I've been doing a lot of talking with my reviews today. So yeah, she holds up. Uh, it'll hold anything I need it to hold. And she does really, really well. Um, I'm not going to go through my gear, but it takes a ton of stuff. Like that's my Tinder bag, quite a large bag. Got a little bit of fire kit stuff in there as well. It'll take that, and that's not even, not even a quarter, not even a fifth of the space that's in there. This bag is deceptive. It looks small from the outside, but it's got a lot of space on the inside. The temptation, of course, is to always fill it up and carry something really heavy in the bush because you've got to load it loaded up with all your cool stuff that you're never really going to use. But um, it's got that much space you can do that. So it's very much an uh, exercise of self-discipline not to overload your pack because we all have cool gear, right? We all want to carry it. But yeah, that's about it. I'll give you a look at the inside. Uh, don't know how well you're going to see it from over there. But just one large main pouch, cross zippered pouch over there, and there's two zippers, all the zippers are YKK, big as well, and they have pull tabs on them, so you can grab these with gloves. Everything's thought out practically. These are big, robust zippers, big, robust YKK zippers, and you don't even have to take your gloves off to open them and close them. That MacPack's got a very good name out there, very good equipment, well thought out equipment, well designed. And so it was an easy one for me to swap over to this. So as my bush bag, let me put that other stuff in, how's it held out? A bag that's supposed to be like a school bag and a day bag and a hiking bag, you know, which is just on trails. I found out it's held out absolutely brilliantly in the bush. It's never been uncomfortable. Um, the, the simple things like the ergonomic design of the straps that little tab around the side there that the strap is um, at the bottom that the strap is sewn to that just sort of pulls around your body a little bit more just to make it that much that little bit more comfortable the thick padding on the back of it I've never had a problem carrying uh, over four kilos I guess when you add the water um, never had a problem with it or uncomfortable or anything with this pack it's held up really well the sewing on it and the fabric is just like top notch it always is with Mac pack and so it takes a bashing when I go out in the bush. And quite often I'm off the trail. Lately I've been cutting my own trail and then going to work that trail. 
and <clears throat> this thing just takes a pounding. It just keeps on ticking. It really does. I've built my own backpack, kind of a prototype design I'm working on for myself, and I was able to um, just attach this to it and carry it on the back as well. So, yeah, holds out really well, really robust. Very, very pleased with this. Something I'm mentioning in most of my videos now, uh, particularly when it comes to my gear, is that I am buying for the future. You know, we got these tough economic times coming, and uh, uh, they are coming. There's uh, no doubt about that. And I'm just not certain what my income is going to be in the future. I'm not worried. I'm not afraid of things. I'm just preparing. And things like this, I've now got a knapsack that I can use uh, well, for easily going to get me through these hard times. Hard times come, hard times go. And so these hard times will eventually ease off and things will get better. And I need something that will carry me through it. I don't want to be um, short of cash and not much income coming in. And then my pack breaks down, my, you know, my main pack that I use out in the bush. And I've got to try and drum up another one. And so, or drum up the cash for another one. So I've got something that I believe will carry me right through for years. Uh, remember those reviews from those other customers, they talked about 10, 20 years out of their light alps. And I know this Aztec fabric, I think, it, I think with MacPack, I think it's been around since the 1970s, I think. I think that's when they developed it, I believe. Um, and it's, you know, decades. It just lasts for decades. It's very, very tough. So MacPack, very well known in New Zealand. It's like a household name out here. Uh, probably known in Australia. I believe it's got a good rep out there in England as well. Maybe in other countries it's not that well known, um, particularly in the U.S., maybe Canada. Possibly, I'm not sure, but um, it's that is a company well worth looking at. New Zealand company um, that's been around for yonks, and they've taken this stuff up to the tops of all the mountains out there. And they're really big on rock climbing and um, tough outdoor stuff. So, highly recommend it. This is my MacPack Light Out, 23 liter.